Hello, and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So I was talking to a friend yesterday who's got a little um, lathe, that uh, little Atlas Craftsman, I think, or something like that, um, he plays with. And, and uh, he took the jaws out to uh, reverse them, and he's having a hard time getting them back lined up. Um, on a three jaw, that's not all that difficult, but if you don't know all the tricks and how to do it, um, it can be a pain. And uh, so getting them lined back up is, is what we're going to work on today. So my little Monarch, I just did a bunch of boring work and when you're doing some boring you get chips in there and, and they do make it into the scroll. So I'm going to take the jaws out, blow everything out with the air hose and then show how to properly put it back together. So let's get started. Alright, so we got our chuck kind of cleaned up here, um, wiped out, everything's pretty good. Um, and uh, now we're going to figure out how to put this all back together. So you take your, your jaws and you look at them and they're numbered. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this one is number one. This one's number three, and this one's number two. So what you do, sometimes your chuck is numbered as well. Um, and I have numbered this one, although I believe it was numbered when I bought it. And it is. There is a number in there. But I also took a punch and I put two marks for two, one for one, and three for three. So I have every jaw labeled out. Now what we need to do is you turn your chuck, your, your key, and you bring your scroll around to the first position. And let me move the camera down here and try to get you right in there so you can see this. Hopefully it's visible. Let me uh, grab a light here. Put some light on the subject. Somehow. So you see all that first tooth of the scroll right there is coming around when you rotate the the chuck key. Bring that around to where it's at your number one hole and then back it off. And now you can start putting your jaws in. So let me put the camera back at a good angle. Make sure we're good here. All right. So you start with your number one jaw your chuck jaw. And you've got this backed off. Slide it in and turn it around and wait for the next, for the that bit of your scroll to come visible in number two hole. And this will be counterclockwise. Um, I believe all chucks are the same, but I could be wrong, but whatever is your tightened direction that's where you go. And then now you look for your jaw number two. That's three. There's two. So now you slide two up in there. And do the same thing. Tighten it until you see your scroll right there come around in the three hole. Back it off. And we drop in three. And now if I did this right, it should come out perfect. Just 
just like that. So as simple as backing that jaw off, or backing that scroll off, come to your number one hole, put your back it off to where the point of the scroll is. Comes in, back it off, slide in jaw one, tighten it a bit, and wait, watch for it to come out in two. Back it off a little, slide two in, tighten it, wait, watch for it to hit the three hole, back it off a little, drop the three jaw in, and then simple as that. Pretty straightforward and easy. Um, I've been doing it this way for a very long time and it just, it just works out really easy. But cleaning the scroll is a very um, important thing. Make sure you blow this all out or disassemble the chuck and clean the thing out and oil it, grease it, whatever you need to do. Make sure you lubricate these. Um, they do wear out. and So I'm going to put a drop of oil on all these jaws when I'm all done here. But... Uh, I usually grease, put a little dab of grease or oil in the scroll too, and some of the chucks have a grease zerk or oil zerk um, that you can use, but um, better to put a little bit on everything, and I'm going to do that yet, but uh, this is just how showing you how to get these jaws back in correctly. Um, and then the other thing is you want to check your run out, because these chucks do wear out. They wear out frequently, so... Um, definitely something you want to keep an eye on. So, Tom Olson, my good friend who writes for the Iron Age magazine, great publication, steam engines and uh, um, kerosene and big gas tractors, and great stuff, great stuff. But he writes the article, uh, The Country Preacher, and it's, um, he's written about me a few times in there in my shop. He's, uh, he's working on a... Um, Russell traction engine that he bought, um, a lifelong dream, and I've helped him with this engine and that, but uh, he's working on his little lathe. And, um, so, Tom, I hope that helped. I hope that answered your question. I know when we talked on the phone the other day it was a little bit uh, confusing, but I hope you were able to see this and, and understand, and I hope this video helps out others. So, um, until next time, like us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website www.toppermachine.com and please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, there's lots of interesting stuff here and going to be a lot more. I'm working on a, quite a few things. Um, actually the, the metal planer mill that uh, a few of you know about, um, I got the job for a little over eight foot milling of 4140 annealed. And uh, we struggled to find material. Um, things are getting difficult. Uh, 2021 is, is so far proving to be a very difficult year and I think it's gonna get a little bit worse on some of this stuff. Um, but uh, the 4140 is getting really hard to find. So that's a, um, gonna be coming up here in probably a few weeks. I'm probably not gonna get the press break die finished just yet um, because that job is a priority. Um, press break die is for my own personal use and, and future jobs, but um, we'll get on that. And uh, just uh, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.